The white arrow is pointing to an interior concrete footing. That means that there's going to be a load bearing wall sitting directly on top of these areas. The white arrow is actually pointing to the area where the stairwell is going to be located. So there will be a portion of this footing carrying part of the floor and stairway. So the, the footing that is running from right to left is going to be holding up the floor and the stairway. The footing that is running forward from the arrow or from the front of the picture to the back of the arrow is going to be um, just supporting a the stair stringers. So realistically, I don't know why that footing's there, but trust me, I run into this often. However, I am not a structural engineer, so forget about that last statement. Now, what we're looking at is a plastic drain pipe that is wrapped in a white foam. And this usually comes in a roll. It's probably about uh, 18 inches in diameter. And the foam is about maybe 6 inches wide. You can wrap it around the plastic pipe and provide a little protection against the concrete. Now this is required by most building codes. And you can also use cardboard. But they do need something protecting it. Um, just in case there is any movement in the footing. Concrete does expand and contract and if it moves enough you could actually wear a hole or break a drain pipe. It isn't common but it does happen. This is just there to provide you with a little more added protection. So now you should have a better idea what a load bearing structural footing looks like before it's poured with concrete and all you get to see is a flat floor.